agents will always want to make you feel like at the house is fine now you see you see an old house that is falling apart but the agent will make you he'll be trying to make you feel like ah the house is fine now what are you seeing is it not is this not the budget you wanted see now it has this see the wardrobe now and you'll be wondering like guy what's up now this house is practically falling apart <laughs> hey guys welcome back to my youtube channel if you're new here thank you for being here my name is angel okoli and this is my channel so please make sure you subscribe and also click on the notification bell so that you can stay notified for every time i drop a video i'm so excited actually because today's video i'm going to be talking about how i was able to secure my first apartment here in lagos okay not like my first apartment basically but like my own personal apartment because i mean i've lived with my friends i've lived with my sister so this is like the first time i'm getting my own personal apartment so yeah you know in my previous video i was talking about self-care and then i mentioned something about celebrating your win no matter how little it is so this is like a win for me and you know i just start to share with you guys so yeah i got my first apartment and <sighs> it was a crazy experience i got the apartment in may yeah but i i don't love things you know like i anyways i'm just going to share everything that happened and because i really want to give you guys tips as always i'm going to give you tips on how you can actually search for apartments here in lagos because the truth is if you're not careful getting an apartment in lagos will force like it will make you feel frustrated it will make you I, I remember there are times when I cried, there are times when I told myself that you know what, I'm done. I'm not looking for a house again. <laughs> I just wanted to like stay back where I was and you know just move on. By the end of the day, I, I thought about it and I'm like, this is actually something I really wanted to do. So I just had to kill it. So there are so many steps I took, you know, to actually get to that point where I was able to secure an apartment. So I'm going to give you guys the tips on how i was able to do that these are important steps actually so i think you should get like a paper and pen or maybe your notepad or something and just sit down very important because if you're looking for a house trust me these tips will come in handy okay so let's get right into it so the first thing i want to talk about today is before you start searching for a house in lagos eh it's very very important that you have a budget that should be like the number one thing you should actually do tell yourself that this is the budget i want to work with because if you're not careful you'll find yourself in positions where you have to probably dig into your extra savings or liquidate your investment or something like or borrow money yourself which i know is not advisable just because you want to pay for an apartment but trust me whatever your budget is you can actually get an apartment that will suit your budget it's just going to take time it's just a matter of time don't get pressure don't pressure yourself just make sure that you have this budget in your mind that okay i'm going to spend so, so amount to get this kind of house you know so once you have that budget clear then you can now start the next step this particular tip eh, is it's extremely important i know why i'm saying this because the experience i had with this particular one it was crazy get a trusted agent that drives <laughs> an agent that drives will save you one million stress you know when you get an agent the first thing they'll tell you is oh you have to here in lagos actually i don't know about other places but here in lagos they'll tell you oh you have to pay like an ins um, inspection fee is that what they call it yes an inspection fee yes so you have to pay an inspection fee and usually that inspection fee covers for all the houses that they are going to show you until you get an apartment so imagine being in a situation where you pay an inspection fee and then you keep jumping bus or jumping bike or whatever it is that is available at that point but you have you just have to like keep doing those extra things and the funny thing is that you would pay the extra cost oh my god i'm sweating so you would just find yourself paying extra fee 
I had one very crazy experience with one girl. So um, she, she, she's an agent, you know. So after I paid the inspection fee and everything, she then told me where to meet her. And then I got there and um, it was something else. All the places that she took me to that day, I ended up paying transport. There was, a, there was a, a place where we got to, it was like an estate. So we took like a bus to the junction and then from the junction we had to take a bike to one part of the estate and then from that part of the estate the bike stopped us at a particular spot they said they don't go beyond that point so we now had to take another bike that now took us to where the house is i was the one paying all the transportation and i was wondering like i paid this girl inspection for you so why am i paying all the extra <laughs> i don't know it was it was crazy i was just i was I don't know if I should say I was angry but I was feeling some type of way but I didn't have a choice because I think I got to a point where I was a bit desperate I kind of put like a timeline to it so I just kept paying transport and paying transport she took me to like four different houses on that same day and these houses were in different locations so for every location we went to I kept paying transport fare I was frustrated I was angry because at the end of the day two out of the four houses she showed me they were like way above my budget and then the remaining two that were like close to my budget the houses were terrible i can't even explain those i'm just i'm going to show you guys actually so it was it was a very bad experience for me you guys need to <laughs> you need to just get an agent that drives because where i eventually got my apartment the agent that brought me here the guy drives so all i did was i just paid him my inspection fee and for every time he was going to take me to a house he would always um, i would always meet him up in his office and then he would drive me down to the location i didn't pay extra for anything again all the houses he showed me after the first time i registered with him everything was just like it was it was easy for me because i just go down to his office and then we drive down to the location so please if you're someone like me that don't like stress and you don't drive the best thing you can do for yourself when you're looking for a house in Lagos, just look for an agent that drives it makes it easy for them to actually give their clients a better service the next tip i have here is after you have registered with an agent a trusted agent you have to also specify the things that you want to your agent so tell your agent your budget tell him um, the kind of house you're looking for and then most importantly you have to know the location you want so let's say if you want to um, what, what example can I use now okay let me just use where I stay for an example when I was looking for a house I already knew that there's a certain bus stop I do not want to pass because I know that that bus stop here like after that bus stop all the way down to other areas the traffic situation there is terrible so i just did not want to pass that area so those are like one of the things i told the agents that okay this is my budget um this is the kind of house i'm looking for and then i don't want to pass this area so any house that you see that is after this certain area don't even bother calling myself just save me and you distress <laughs> you get at the end of the day it was looking like oh the guy told me that oh now what if you see something that is extremely nice after like something that passes the location I, I didn't want to pass that is extremely nice and is within my budget it was tempting trust me but I just I didn't want to fall for it because I mean the whole house haunting thing in Lagos can be very frustrating so if you're not careful you will just realize that you're actually the one frustrating yourself because you don't even have a preference in terms of location and everything so it's very important that you have preference in everything so talk about your budget with your agents talk about the kind of house you want to live in and then talk about your location very 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 important the next tip i'm going to give you guys right now is a tip that is like i feel like this is the most important tip of everything i'm saying today this is actually the most important tip now i got this i got this tip from my boss my boss told me this and at first I didn't really understand it because I mean I told myself that okay I've already spoken to my agent I've already told him the kind of house I want I've given him my budget and everything so I don't think it's necessary but at the end of the day when I did it I realized that this is like it was like a game changer so this this tip is write down everything you want from where you want to live I'm going to give you guys an example I wrote 
everything I wanted from the house down to the fact that I wanted the house to have a security man and I wanted the house to have a prepaid meter guys <laughs> even with myself when I was writing it I was feeling like eh on a normal day now most houses are actually supposed to have these things that be but then I thought of the houses I've checked before and I realized that almost most of the houses I've checked before they didn't even have most of these things and I didn't really pay attention to them because I didn't know or like I just I didn't pay attention to them but writing it down became like a game changer so it's like for every house the agent took me to I'm looking out for oh I wanted this space I wanted this size of this I wanted my kitchen to be like this I wanted the bathroom to be like this I wanted a security man in the house I wanted to be sure that I have prepaid meter so writing down those specific things that I wanted in the house it, it like it, it changed everything for me it was so I was so specific to the point that I wrote down the fact that I wanted a new house I didn't want a house where I was going to move in and then I have to now start spending extra cash to sort it out because already my budget was something else and I knew that I didn't have enough like I didn't have extra to do so much in the house guys everything I wrote on my list everything I wrote down like I got let's say 70 to 80 percent of everything I wrote down on my list actually was actually what I got it was it was after I got the house and then the day I came to the day I came to the apartment like the empty apartment I came with uh, someone to clean the house and then I just brought out my diary and I was looking through it and I'm like wow everything I actually wrote down is here are you kidding <laughs> so it was a game changer so the fact that I wrote it down I became very conscious of it so even though my agents already knew my specifics right I also had specific things that I really wanted that I couldn't share with him because agents will always want to make you feel like ah, the house is fine now you see you see an old house that is falling apart but the agent will make you he will try to make you feel like ah the house is fine now what are you seeing is it not is this not the budget you wanted see now it has this see the wardrobe now and you'll be wondering like guy what's up now this house is practically falling apart <laughs> so looking at that list I realized that wow Actually, you can get most of the things you want in a house you just have to take your time be patient and then be specific you know that thing about writing down the things you want they will just always find a way to happen because when you write them down and you see it at least every day it becomes like a part of you it becomes something that it is it becomes like a conscious situation so when you think about that particular thing you want to achieve because you've already written, written it down it just becomes a conscious situation so that was what happened to me i was so conscious about everything i wanted even down to the fact that the house must have prepaid meter the house has to be new you know so that's like an important tip please if you're looking for a house write it down if you want your kitchen to be c-shape write it there that you want a c-shaped kitchen even though i know that that is not possible i'm just saying i'm just saying that these things might sound crazy and outrageous at first but when you write them down you realize that you can actually get at least 80 percent of everything you want from a house okay the last tip is you have to be ready to make payments once you get what you're looking for looking for a house in lagos is, is like a competition you can see a house today and while you're sitting down the next day contemplating if you want to pay for it or not trust me someone else has already paid for it the night before make sure you have your money ready so that once you see that thing that you like just pay for it immediately there was one house i missed in one estate it was one of the estates i really really wanted to live in you know so i saw the house and i was really impressed i was happy it was a little bit above my budget actually i think that was one of the reasons why i was contemplating it was a new house so i wasn't going to spend so much setting it up or anything but at the same time i was still asking myself am i going to pay for a house and then i won't see money to at least buy food or buy snacks or something that i'll be eating for the first month so while i was sitting down and contemplating this thing happened in just one day oh i saw the house today i got home that evening and i started contemplating if i wanted to pay for the house the next day i called the agent and the girl was like ah, and they've paid for the house oh. i was sad the house was fine and it was a new house and it was in an estate that i really wanted to live in 
<laughs> so the thing i felt so bad i felt so bad because i know if i had like an extra 50k i could have probably paid for it on that first day and i wouldn't even want to like contemplate or think about it too much you know so that's why it brings me back to one of the points i made please just make sure you're you're certain about your budget don't try to overdo your budget if you know you can still raise your budget a little bit and it doesn't affect you that's okay but just know your budget so the experience was just like it, for me it was like ugh, i said okay oh they've paid for this house abby i said okay no wala. that means the next one i'm going to see i'm just going to make sure that i don't overdo my budget so that if i like it i'll just pay for it once so i was actually looking for a mini flat i wanted like a room and parlor situation kept searching and the mini flat was everything was so expensive so i finally had to opt for a one room at first after i paid for the house at first i was like this house is so small jesus this is not what i wanted i was going crazy but of everything i wrote down that i actually wanted for my apartment the only thing that was missing was the fact that the house did not have a palo so every other thing i wanted every everything i wrote was exactly what i saw when i walked into the house you get so yeah so that's it so that's my house hunting journey in lagos and i finally paid for my house and i moved in and the rest they say is history yeah i'm going to show you guys what my house looks like because me i am so huge on aesthetics so i was trying to beef up the house trying to make it as comfortable as possible and i think i, I did a good job Sha. so i'll leave you guys to be a judge of that on the comment section so yeah so that's it that's the story of how i got an apartment my first apartment in lagos i am so proud of myself <laughs> i know that this is the beginning of greater things i know it's not gonna end here i look forward to you know like so many other things to come you know so yeah so that's it basically but thank you so much for watching this video you guys please don't forget to subscribe to my channel it's very important don't just watch this video and drop a comment and disappear and wait for the next video you have to subscribe please so don't forget to subscribe peace Because you're not a YouTuber, so you need this video. <laughs> you will need this video, trust me. <laughs>